one big thing um, that I've at least noticed within myself and, and people around me is that the uh, point of like the aspect of comparison push, pushes them into a, a place of wanting to be in the shadows where it's like it's easier to not really be um, like putting myself out there and just like sticking back. And so even if I I do kind of like fall on my face, it's okay because like no one's really paying attention. Mm -hmm. And and like I didn't really try. Like I, I kind of tried, but I'm giving the safety net of like, well, if I don't try super hard, then it's okay. Like I, I'm I'm back behind here and that allows for me to be in like this comfort zone. And and once you realize that getting out and like letting that comparison transpire and um like to other people, I suppose, and putting yourself out there and realizing that even if you do fall on your face, it's for like a microsecond, especially with how fast everything happens. Like you fall on your face, it happens. Uh, you know, some people take notice, some don't. And then it's like an hour later, most people have forgotten mm -hmm. type situation. And I think that many people think, especially in their mind of like how they think of themselves, it's like, well, I fell on my face and now all I'm thinking about is the aspect that I fell on my face and that just lingers for weeks. Whereas like anybody who is probably watching you saw it either like offered you a word of wisdom or offered you a, a word of um, like trying to help in general. And then there may be a small percentage of, of crappy people who send it in a group text to their crappy friends and make fun of you or something along those yeah. lines. That's a reality. That's that's going to happen as time goes on. Like as much as I would love to sit here and say that those people don't exist, we all very much so know that they do exist. Um, and so allowing for yourself or like realizing that for majority of people, it's only in their mind for like an hour and then it's moving on. And then you, they'd have to be reminded that it happened. They're not thinking about it again. Yeah, I think it's honestly helpful to have a little bit of short term memory um, in these regards, because I think it's so easy to have those thoughts or comments stick. So even for example of someone putting a negative comment, I think something for myself, especially with you saying like it's easier to stay in the shadows, I've enjoyed having a quote smaller platform on social media because everyone is positive. I don't get a lot of negative comments, which is very nice for me because I don't, not that I don't do well with negative comments, but I know it hurts my self-esteem. I know mentally I'm still working through some of those things. And and I have even vocalized like I don't want to go viral because I know that there's going to be trolls that come and pick me apart. And I don't know if I'm in a headspace to take all of that on and have my own confidence to kind of push through that. And so within that, it's also been something where I, like you said, don't give my full effort. And then I, I don't achieve what I want to achieve and I feel frustrated about it. But it's also this aspect of I might get one comment here and there that's negative and it sticks in my head for a few weeks where it's like not everyone is thinking that that was one comment and I should be able to have enough understanding and worth in myself to not let that affect me. Now, that would be the very logical way of thinking. I am not always logical. Sometimes I'm emotional, as you guys have found out more from YouTube and this podcast that I am a crier. But it is something that like those moments stick in your head. But like Alex said, it's a microsecond for other people. If you were to think of, oh, what are so-and-so's most embarrassing moments? Even if I were to think of what Alex's most embarrassing moments are, I couldn't even tell you off the top of my head of, oh, yeah, I remember this one time you made a complete full. I, I don't know. I could not recall one. And I'm sure he's already thinking of like, oh, I could think of this, this and this. That was so embarrassing. I'm his wife. I spend the most time with him outside of the time I spend with myself. I don't even know his most embarrassing moments to recall off the very top of my head. So what does that say about someone random on the internet or someone random in your life? And if they do stick to those things and they feel like they need to bring it up, then also being able to understand like that person lives a very sad life. And then moving on from that is like the best that I can say it of just like your life is sad. I'm going to keep living my life. You keep being sad and everything will be okay.